So this is ultimately where we're going with this dice right here, or with this die right here. Um, so you can see it's nice, it's 3D, I got things on all the different sides, I can look all around it. One very important thing, Inventor does not automatically save for you. It does some things behind the scenes, but you need to get in the habit of saving your work. So just occasionally, every couple of minutes, every time you do any big changes before the end of the period, make sure you save your work. So to do that, go to File. Very first time you save it, you'll do Save As. Every time after that, you'll just do Save. So when I hit Save, it's going to say, where do you want to save it? We are going to save to our OneDrive. So you should have something when you drop down. It says OneDrive right there. If you don't have that, let your teacher know when you click on OneDrive. When you first do it, you might have just a couple folders right there. Let's just create a new folder. So right here, create new folder. Let's call it Inventor. Or you can call it Engineering or whatever you want. Double click to save in that folder. And this is right now is called part1.ipt. Don't call it part1.ipt because you'll have no idea what it is. So what are we making? We're making dice. Give it a name that you know what it is that you'll be able to find it later. And then hit save. So now it is saved to your OneDrive. Now you can open it on you know, a different computer when you're connected to the network. Um, but it is saved. And so whenever you do anything major, you know, let's say if I wanted to change the color, you know, come over here. You can also just click this little save button at the top or control S on the keyboard. So make sure you save early, save often. Otherwise, you're going to lose your work.